My name is Marcus Chapman. I set up Nelson's Tour de Test Valley in memory of my best friend, Nelson Pratt, who took his life eight years ago. There was such a big, uh, such a big feeling around Nelson's death because he was such a popular guy and he was a professional snowboarder. So it was a massive shock to people and I think that's why there was such a swell of like, how are we going to remember him? I mean, his funeral, the, the church, you, you couldn't get in and around it. Suicide is the single biggest killer of young men in the UK at 12 men a day. We felt we had to do something and I think setting up the event was a real way of dealing with it. I hadn't dealt with it emotionally at that point and I was really itchy and, and my way of coping with it mentally at the time was to physically get stuck into doing something. Nelson and I had done an event near his home in all the Test Valley uh, not that long before he died and it is such a beautiful area and such a beautiful ride we just really felt it was a, a great way to honour him and give him uh, an amazing legacy. There wasn't an aim really at the start other than just getting a whole lot of people on bikes talking about Nelson and talking about mental health and suicide. But in the first year alone we raised 60 or 70,000 and that was Calm's biggest ever single fundraiser. The money hasn't been the main goal but last year helped prevent just over 675 suicides. We didn't know that that was a way that we were actually going to recover a bit uh, from the pain at the time. And I think for the friends and family, that was a crucial part of it as well. We do just properly try and give people a good day out. The cycling bit is almost a bonus, but the routes are absolutely stunning. It's for every level of cyclists. We have proper Bradley Wiggin-esque down to three, four, five-year-olds. Cycling is such a great way of talking and getting groups together. When you're side by side with someone and you're cruising around, there's a lot less pressure and you can open up, you know, a lot more freely. I've watched people chatting away in front of me with strangers that I don't think they would have chatted to if they'd been sat next to them in a pub. And those connections are so important. Once someone starts opening up and talking a bit, it's amazing and it's been amazing to watch that. People go away if they don't know about Nelson and they didn't know about his story. Even though it's a tragic story, they go away feeling you know, I can, I can help do something about this and I can help, I can talk and I'm going to come back next year. Those benefits are real and they really do and can change people's lives and have a massive impact on their mental health.